Hello students, today's class we will start chapter 10, Internet and Email. In this chapter, I will explain you about what is Internet and what is the use of an email. So, open your book, page number 96. Internet is one of the best technologies gifted to mankind. It has brought the entire world closer. The invention of Internet has transformed our lives. Communication has given rapid growth to business worldwide also. So it has revolutionized the whole world and made computers the most effective communication tool. Internet gives us access to information on almost every subject. In these days we are only depending on the internet and we are doing studies via internet from our home only. So what is internet stands for international network. Internet is a worldwide collection of computers that are used to share information among each other. So these computers are connected to each other through telephone wires, modem, satellites, links or other means enabling them to share information amongst each other. Now there is one more the fact. For you, an internet service provider (ISP) is a company that gives you access to the internet for a fee. So the browser will not be able to display pages unless the computer is connected to an ISP like BSNL, CP, Airtel, Reliance, etc. So any from any company we can get the internet connection. So what does internet provide? News and information like internet provide facility to read different newspapers online and get the information regarding various topics of our interest also such as politics, sports, education etc. It also keep us updated with current events also. Art and entertainment internet allows to download and purchase various software for art and entertainment such as games, songs, movies and puzzles, jokes, stories etc. Everything we can uh, everything we can see, we can watch on internet and we can get information on any topic regarding world. Okay. Otherwise an online shopping also so you can purchase various items like books, clothes, gift items etc. from different e-shops around the world without actually going there. Next is mailing letters. You can mail letters. Electronic mail is the most popular feature of the internet. It allows us to send and receive messages. So you can also attach pictures, videos, sounds to your email and send it to anyone. Now there is a fact file. Raymond Samuel Tomlinson who sent the first email in 1971. Next is health and fitness. So you can have an all time doctor at your service to provide health and fitness information. So you can also search for remedies and precautions for different diseases on internet. Tourism and travel. So internet provides facility for online booking of hotels, railway tickets, air tickets, etc. So all over the world and around the clock. Now for reference to reserve and print railway tickets on the internet, you can visit site www.ircpc.co.in. This site is for booking railway this is the logo of IRCPC. Now next is chatting. This is a very most popular feature. Chatting. This feature allows us to exchange text messages with another person on the internet. Like on WhatsApp we are doing like we are doing these chattings. Nowadays banking operations. All the banking operations like can be done right from your home using internet. 
e-banking settings. Now video conferencing. So with video conferencing, we can communicate with the other person visually. So we can all chat with them as well as we can see them. Okay, on the on our screen with the camera, we can see. To do video conferencing, both the person need to have web camera. Next is browsing the internet and using links. So how can we browse on internet? We can how can we search any information on internet? So to explore inside the website, so you need to click on links. So these are this is called browsing or surfing the web. So link what are link links are highlighted text, a button or a image. When you move the cursor over a link, the cursor will change to hand sign. So it means clicking the link can take you to a web page, the website, or to a different website. So now there is one next to move for you. So each website has a main page. When you visit any site, the first page that opens is called the home page. Now, now next is what are search engines. So what will you do if you want to find a particular chapter in a book? So you would see the index. Find out the page number and then open that page. So similarly, to look for any information on the internet, search engines are used. The search engines allow the user to enter a keyword related to the information you require and search the website containing a particular information. So with the search engine website software, we can search any topic. So these websites are popularly known as search engines. For example, for search engines, Google, www.google.com, this is a very most popular search engine nowadays. Like Bing, Bing also, the search engine, www.bing.com. On Bing also, we can search any information, Yahoo as well, www.yahoo.com. These all are the popular search engines for using finding any information. Now there is a, another text file. So Jerry Young and David Field who is are the founder of www.yahoo.com. So Yahoo is an American computer service company founded on March 2, 1995. Now connect to the internet, open the desired browser and open any search engine like Google for example here open Google and for searching any information you have to type a few keyword related to that information for example cartoon network and press the search engine search button so it will display a list of websites which have the relevant information so all the cartoon network website list will be displayed so read the provide information and uh, you can click to consider the most appropriate information. The website will open like this. Next is email. What is email? Email stands for electronic mail. It is a facility on internet to send and receive messages. Electronic mail anywhere around the world. It works like convention correspondence. The best part of email is that is a single mail can be sent to number of person at a time. So we can attach to the email photos, videos or important data along with our messages. So these extra files are called attachments. Okay, so we can attach different files to that email. Now Raymond Samuel Tomlinson first ever email was sent by him in 1970. Now email account. So how can we open email account? In order to use the email facility on the internet, first we have to create our personal email account. So we have to select a username like email address or provide a secret code that is called password. So along with our particulars like name, address, date of birth, etc. After filling that, we can create our email account. Now there are many websites on the internet which provide you the facility of free email account. 
like the popular sites are www.hotmail.com www.yahoo.com yahoo.co.in www.relifmail.com and very popular most popular gmail.com so what is email address for sending mail to any person we have to know their email address okay so when you create an email account you get an email address to which people write mail to so every email account has a unique email address which means no two people in the world can have the same email address just like our phone number mobile number just like your postal address which one of its kind your email address belongs to you how can we create your first email account the easiest way to create your email account and get your first email address is to use a free online service first you have to connect your to the internet and open the website www.gmail.com on any popular service you can create your email for example i am going to create your email account in gmail click the create an account link in the screen shot and proceed the to the next page. so register this is the your registration form that you have to fill so the Uh, after clicking on that link, the registration form will appear. First, fill the registration form, choose the login name and password. So, accept the agreement, and that your email account is created. If all the entries have been filled properly. So, use an email account after creating our account. How can we use that? After creating an email account. you can use it to send and receive emails so to use the email account you must uh, log in using your email id or username or password so you log in sign in a system of uh, different mail accounts may differ so, but they all have the following basic thing so there is another text file call to keep with created gmail and it is owned by google Now next is components of your email account window. It first is inbox. This is the inbox. It display the information about all the mails received by you. So each message header display the sender name, subject line, and time, and the date when the mail was sent, and sometimes the size of the message also. So to read any mail, you have to click on it. The mail will be displayed in a new window. next point is this is the compose if you want to write mail or send mail to anyone so we can use this compose button to compose a mail you have to click on the compose option or any other similar option so it will open a new window like this with the following components in the two box here you can type the email address of the person whom you want to send the email now there is another tip for you so you can send the same mail to more than one person by typing their email addresses separated by commas in the two fields so we can send send one mail to many persons uh, so we can separate their addresses with comma next option is this is cc here you specify the address of the person to whom you want to send the copy of the mail now the email address mentioned in this field are visible to all the recipients of the mail it stands for carbon copy cc for carbon copy next is bcc it is used to send copy of the mail to several people so the, the email address mentioned in this field are not visible to other recipients also so bcc stands for blind carbon copy but it was not visible to any next is subject we can type the mail id of the mail in this field next sending in email how can we send so after composing an email click on this send button then reply this option is displayed on app opening any mail it is used to reply back the 
email you can simply type in your message and click on send button